subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. Installing PIP in Visual Studio Code on Windows involves a few steps. Below is a step-by-step -step tutorial with code examples. Before you can use PIP, you need to have Python installed on your system. You can download the latest version of Python from the official Python website. During the installation process, make sure to check the box that says Add Python to Path. Open a command prompt and type the following command to verify that Python has been installed successfully. This should display the version of Python you installed. If you don't have Visual Studio Code installed, download and install it from the official Visual Studio Code website. Open Visual Studio Code, and in the sidebar, click on the extensions icon, or press Ctrl plus Shift plus X. Search for Python in the extensions view and install the Python extension by Microsoft. Open your project in Visual Studio Code. Create a new Python file if you don't have one already. Save the file. Open the file in Visual Studio Code. Look at the lower right corner of the window. You should see Select Python Interpreter. Click on it. Choose the Python interpreter you installed earlier. Press Ctrl plus, backtick, to open the integrated terminal in Visual Studio Code. In the integrated terminal, you can install pip by using the following command. To verify that pip has been installed successfully, run the following command. This should display the version of pip you installed. Now that pip is installed, you can use it to install Python packages. For example, let's install the requests library. Create a new Python file and import the installed package. Save the file and run it to verify that the package was installed and is working correctly. That's it. You've successfully installed pip in Visual Studio Code on Windows and installed a Python package. ChatGPT